A dream weekend in Russia for Maxime Martin. After pole position on Saturday, he added an impressive lights to flag victory in the race. At Moscow Raceway, the BMW rookie driver wrote motorsport history. He scored the first ever Belgian race win in the DTM. I'm proud a bit of myself because I, I think I did quite a good race. But um, yeah, it's a dream coming true. Um, it was already a dream coming true coming in DTM. And uh, now after five races to have pole and win here in Russia is, uh, is just amazing. In picture postcard weather near Moscow, Bruno Spengler gets his BMW M4 to full speed and completes the 1-2 for the brand from Munich. The Canadian makes his mark and gets himself into a good position in the battle for the title. Uh, we are pretty happy about the result today. It was definitely a good day for BMW as well, you know, one and two. It's great here in Russia. One driver was particularly unfortunate. DTM champion Mike Rockenfeller had a very bad day at Moscow Raceway. But one thing at the time, having started with the significantly slower standard tyres, the Audi driver initially drops back. The crucial point, halfway through the race, with the Phoenix Audi team in the limelight, Timo Scheider gets stuck on the main straight and the safety car is deployed. As a result, Rockenfeller closes up to the front runners and suddenly has good chances of a top result with the upcoming change to the significantly faster option tyres. But reality is totally different. Once racing has resumed, Mike Rockenfeller collides with Adrian Tombe. The champion retires and suffers a major blow in the battle for the title. On the restart, I, I just brake a bit late, I think. Uh, the tires were too cold. I made a mistake. I, I turned around Adrian and therefore, um, yeah, I destroyed his race and my race. Uh, that's, that's really, it was not my intention because I just tried to follow him uh, because I had to come in for the mandatory pit stop anyway one lap later and therefore it's even worse. Audi is still waiting for its first victory of the season, but Matthias Ekstrom still ensures that spirits are upbeat for the people from Ingolstadt. Having started 11th, the Swede consequently works his way up through the ranks and overtakes Timo Glock just before the finish. Another podium finish for Ekstrom, who is now runner-up in the driver's standings with 50 points. Yeah, three podiums, can we schon mit zufrieden sein? Kein Sieg ist das einzige Enttäuschung, aber zum Glück kommt ja zweite Halbzeit. Only one tenth of a second down on Ekstrom, Marco Wittmann crosses the finish line in fourth place. With a clever strategy, the championship leader scores his next points and at the half-time point of the season, he can start dreaming of the championship title. Something like that is far away for Mercedes-Benz. At Moscow Raceway, the drivers of the Swabian brand can't fully keep up with the pace of the opposition. Only Christian Vitoris sparks some light. From 21st place on the grid, the German works his way up to finish 7th. Very good. I mean, the performance we had was, was, was strong. I was um, really happy with the performance, um, I personally. So I was pushing flat out more or less like in qualifying. Everything all right in the Moscow area. Bright sunshine, 28 degrees and packed grandstands for the DTM's second appearance at Moscow Raceway. One rookie driver is celebrating and the champion is frustrated. The result of the fifth DTM round in Moscow at a glance. Nico Muller underlines his upward trend and scores his first DTM championship points with his fifth place. Due to degrading tyres, Timo Glock eventually misses out on a podium finish and has to make do with sixth place. In a good race, Martin Tomczyk works his way up from 22nd to 13th position. Bad luck for Jamie Green following a collision with Edo Mortara, the Brit has to retire due to suspension damage. Tough for Mike Rockefeller, as a penalty for his manoeuvre against Tombe, he'll be dropped three places on the grid for the next race. A look at the driver's standings reveals Marco Wittmann retains his lead and now can call himself half-time champion. Matthias Ekstrom is now second, 20 points down, followed by Bruno Spengler who is now tied on points with Mortara and sees his chances improved. With his victory, Maxime Martin moves up into sixth place. From the east, the DTM is now heading into the mountains. The sixth season round takes place in three weeks' time in Spielberg in Austria.